The new Defence Secretary, Michael Heseltine, got a rough reception from the women of Greenham Common tonight. He'd gone to speak at Newbury in Berkshire, just two miles from the base where cruise missiles are to be sighted. Police had to escort him through the crowd. Mr Heseltine has been challenged by CND to a public debate on nuclear disarmament, but he rejected that challenge. He said it was an attempt by the organisation to get more publicity. The Soviet ambassador to Britain, Viktor Popov, was summoned to the Foreign Office this afternoon and given a blunt message by the Foreign Secretary. Mr Pim told him the Soviet government should immediately set free the Jewish dissident Anatoly Sharansky. He's being held in solitary confinement and he's been on hunger strikes in September. He's being force-fed but his relatives insist that his life is in danger. President Reagan has accused Israel of unnecessarily delaying its withdrawal from Lebanon. In an interview on American television, he said the Israeli government's failure to pull back its troops was stalling the quest for peace. The president said Arab nations were holding back and reluctant to take part in the peace process without a gesture of goodwill from Israel. And that meant a withdrawal of troops. The Labour Party leadership tonight warned Mr Peter Tatchell, their candidate in Bermondsey, about his future conduct. Labour's General Secretary, Jim Mortimer, told Mr Tatchell and his agent that they could lose the by-election unless they cooperated closely with the leadership. Earlier, the party had banned thousands of leaflets supporting Mr Tatchell because they'd been printed by a company connected with the militant tendency. In Dublin, the political future of the Irish opposition leader, Charles Hohey, still seems to be in the balance. Mr Hohey and MPs of the Fianna Foyle party have been meeting all day and they're still talking. They've heard a report on the telephone tapping and bugging scandal and since mid-afternoon they've been debating a call for Mr Hawhey's resignation. Supporters have been waiting outside. Inside, Mr Hawhey appears to be putting up a tough fight for his political life. That's it from me. Good night.